guys, this is Pastor Matt with Northwoods Church, and I'm coming at you with another week of virtual Awana at Northwoods Church. So, start off with a question today. How many of you guys like YouTube? How many of you guys spend like way too much time on YouTube? Well, if you're familiar with YouTube, you're familiar with the thing about viral videos. What is a viral video? Well, a viral video is a video that just catches on fire, like it, it gets shared all the time, it gets liked all the time, and people are just constantly watching it. And YouTube has been around a long time, and so there have been a lot of viral videos over the years. Let's take a look at a few examples. So how about Numa Numa Guy? Well, the Numa Numa guy has been viewed 47 million times. That's a lot of views. Or another example. How about Keyboard Cat? That's a classic. Keyboard Cat has been viewed 61 million times. Or another favorite of mine, the great hit song, Chocolate Rain. Chocolate Rain. Tent and say the world is dry chocolate rain zoom the camera out and see the light chocolate rain forecast to be falling yesterday chocolate rain chocolate rain if you can believe it or not has been viewed 129 million times on youtube but the one that really tops all of them is the famous clip charlie bit my finger If you can believe it, Charlie Bit My Finger has been viewed 879 million times on YouTube. That's crazy. So how does something really go viral on YouTube? Well, it's because people share it. They watch something, they think that they like it, and they want other people to see it. They've experienced something really good and they want other people to know about it. Shouldn't the gospel be like that? Like all of the good news that we've learned this semester and this year at Awana, should we keep that to ourselves, or should we share it? I think we're quick to share a viral video on YouTube or something that we've seen on the internet with people because we think it's funny or we think it's fun or, or other reasons, but we don't really share the gospel enough. And the gospel is bigger and better and huger, right? So let's talk about sharing the gospel. And today I'm gonna to talk about three points about sharing the gospel. And we're talking about Jesus, this unit, right? And so the big idea really is that Jesus wants us to share the gospel. So three ideas, three big ideas about sharing the gospel. Number one, Jesus wants us to share the gospel and teach others more about himself. Listen to Jesus' own words in Mark 16, 15. It says, And he said unto them, Go ye in all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Jesus commands us and wants us to go into all the world and to share the gospel. He doesn't want us to sit home and keep this good news to ourselves. He, he wants everybody to know about it because he wants everybody to have an opportunity to have eternal life and to experience the grace that God wants to pour out on us. Look, if you had like the best food in the fridge, would you keep that to yourself? If you went to a really cool restaurant, would you want to keep that to yourself? Or would you tell everybody about that great restaurant that you went to? So 
like one of my passions and one of the things I like is to eat different foods from different countries. And so whenever I, in Evansville, I go to a, uh, a restaurant that I like that has food from different countries, I tell everybody, like I love Indian food and, and off Burkhart Road, there's the Taj Mahal, which has wonderful Indian food. And I take people there all the time to experience what Indian cuisine is. I took somebody there on Sunday after church. The point is, if I like something and I'm, if I'm joyous about something, I'm going to share it with other people, just like that YouTube video. And maybe if we're not sharing the gospel, then we haven't experienced the joy of the gospel ourselves. Second point, Jesus will use us right where we are to serve him. Philippians 4, 11 through 13 says this, not that I speak in respect of want, for I've learned in whatever state I am, therefore to be content, and I know how to be abased, and I know how to abound. Everywhere and in all things I'm instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So a guy named the Apostle Paul wrote those words, inspired by the Holy Spirit and recorded in Scripture. And it is the very word of God. But what is Paul going through in that circumstance? Paul's in prison and he's writing to this church in Philippi and he's saying, I know you're concerned about me being in prison, but God has me here for a reason. Because I'm in jail, I'm, I have this opportunity to preach the gospel to all these guards and all of these military types that are in Rome. And if Paul wasn't there in prison, that opportunity wouldn't have been had. And so wherever you are in whatever circumstance you are, whether rich or poor, or whether you have a lot, or whether you have nothing, or whether you live in Indiana, or you live in Virginia, or you live in Ecuador, or no matter who you are, whether you're in fifth grade or whether you're in first grade, God is gonna put you in circumstances where you can share the gospel. Listen, can you share the gospel on a baseball field? Absolutely. Can you share the gospel when you're going out to eat? Absolutely. Can you share the gospel when you're going shopping for shoes? Absolutely. Every circumstance that you're in in life is an opportunity to share the gospel with somebody. And so don't think, well, I'm in this circumstance and, and I can't share with people. Or I'm in school right now, so I can't share with people. That's malarkey. You can share with people wherever you are and wherever God has placed you, it's an opportunity to share the gospel. Last point. We will all have hard times in our life, but we can still share the gospel with others. Look, one thing that God guarantees is that we're all going to go through suffering. The, the rain falls on the just and the unjust, as Jesus says. So we're all going to have hard times in life. We're all going to have difficult circumstances in life. Can we use those circumstances and those difficulties to share the gospel? Yes. And in fact, God encourages us to do that. So when we're sick, can we share the gospel? Yeah. When we're in quarantine from COVID, can we share the gospel? Yeah, look, in fact, I'm, I'm doing that right now as we speak and I've been doing that all semester via a recording. Every circumstance that you're in, whether good or bad, you have the opportunity to share the gospel. Here's our verse for the week, Philippians 1.12. I want you to know, brothers, that what has happened to me has really service to advance the gospel. Again, those words are the words of the Apostle Paul, who's in jail. And he views his imprisonment as God putting him in prison so that he could share the gospel with the people that are around him. So where are you at right now? No, really, where are you at right now? I mean, take a look to your left and your right and who's, who's around you in your house or wherever you're watching this video. Maybe you have a little brother that needs to hear the gospel. Maybe you have a mom or dad that needs to hear the gospel. God has placed you where you are right now with an opportunity to share. 
And not only do you have the opportunity, you have the Holy Spirit inside of you if you're a Christian. And he will give you words to speak and he will help you as you share. So who are the people around me to share the gospel with? Oh, it's you. So that's what I'm doing right now. This has been another week of Virtual Luana. It's been my pleasure to serve you this semester. We'll see you soon.